2022 Thanos Volkswagen. So we're about to swap out the condenser on there. The body man has already has the condenser leaned over to the side, but it's still connected. See, it's on the rubber hoses. He moved it over because he knew I was coming. He was setting it up so we can do a quick recovery. And then he's just gonna flop the hoses. It's still sealed. You see, this, you see those plastic seals right there? So it's never been exposed to the air. The system has never been exposed to the air. So we're gonna do a recovery. We're gonna use the thermal camera and we're gonna see if, and we're gonna use the temperature sensors. So this bottom line right here, if you look right here, you see the temperature, let's see, see my blue, see my green, the green dot? It says that's 88 degrees on, uh, no, center, 84 degrees. So right about there, let me get it centered right there. Center, 78 degrees right here. When I had the green, green center, that's 78 degrees right there. And we're gonna take the temperature of the liquid line, so not liquid line, uh, well, suction line. So that's the suction line. But if you notice, that's the lowest point. You see how high up the line goes up here? And then this line goes up and it tilts up and it goes up higher and it just keeps going higher until it gets way back there. So as the system settles, all the vapor that turns back into the liquid rolls down this line and this is the lowest part and this fills up with liquid refrigerant and refrigerant from here comes down to here and it fills up with liquid. So there's liquid refrigerant right here. So if we recover this, as we recover it, we're gonna see, what color is that one? See how that's, a, that's blue right there? So we come over to the blue and, whoops, we're in the wrong place. Right there. We come over to the blue one, that is 79 degrees. So you know this, the temperature of the shop right now is 79 degrees. 79 degrees, 78 degrees, right here down on this lower one. We're gonna watch those drop as I remove vapor refrigerant from the system. Okay. All right. Let me turn all that's off. The vapor is open. The liquid is closed. My refrigerant line is open going to my recovery machine. This is the MR45 from Field Piece. This is the VPX7 from Field Piece. And we don't need, well, let me turn that off. Don't need that on. Kills my ears anyway. One, two, there we go. So just by watching those temperature sensors, you will see them go down. You see it going down? If you look in the camera, you see that dark line in the condenser? That's liquid refrigerant in the subcooling section. That's liquid up above. So there's liquid coming right up here and it's coming right through the channels and you can see it. You could see the liquid being pulled out of the compressor. So that is the high pressure vapor out of the compressor, but it got really cold. You see it's not getting as cold, it's disappearing. The liquid is disappearing. And you see it got cold really fast because it literally just sucked the refrigerant oil and refrigerant out of the compressor for a second and it flashed through right here as it came through with high velocity because it has to make that path going in here, it drops down, it goes over as down here, it goes back over it goes into the receiver, the liquid drops down here, then the bottom is the subcooling. And you can see where it's really cold right there. That was a cool spot, because there's liquid down there. And you can see where we're cold right there. And is our temperature going back up now because we're almost empty? And we never frosted over like I thought we would. In some situations, under some ambient can oh, we're very empty. That's it. That's it, guys. We're done. How long was that? 
Shoot, I didn't even count how long. Let's see where we're, where we're pressure is. We're probably like negative five or something. We're not fully empty. Okay, we're negative, we're zero. So I have this open. I know there's no more liquid in there, so I could open up the liquid side, the high side. We're at four PSI. It's warm in here. Let's turn it on again. And we have moved all the refrigerant out. And as you can see, the tank is nice and roasty compared to everything else. So our tank, right on the center where the refrigerant is coming in at, right there, 89 degrees. That's right on this point right here, because that's where the refrigerant comes in at. And we're at negative 20 now, negative 17, negative 20 vacuum. So our refrigerant's basically out of there. So now he'll disconnect the lines right here. He'll remove the plugs, put them on, and I immediately turn on the vacuum. Well, first I'm gonna put some nitrogen in there. Once I put nitrogen in there, it will be at a zero state and no moist air has ever gotten into the system. So it'll vacuum down really fast. All right, guys, I'll see you later.